Right, so this is a tutorial on using malware bytes for antivirus and anti-malware um, scanning. Um, obviously you would need to know where you have your program. You may get a warning depending on the settings of your computer when you want to launch it. Um, so you just want to accept that so that the program will open. Quite regularly, you want to update the compute the virus definition list. If you have the free version, you have to manually update. Um, I do this every time before I run. So you click update and check for updates. Um, even if you ran it earlier in the day, um, just go ahead and do a quick check. As you can see, it is downloading a new list here, even though I updated yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and let that uh, list download. And it'll tell me now the new version is there. Go back to the scanner. Most of the time I do a quick scan. Um, depending on how often you're on the internet, what you do with your computer. Um, I like to protect my computer, so I use this and other versions um, pretty much every day. Um, and once a week I will do a full scan on mine but that's up to you All right now we're gonna do a quick scan and it'll start scanning while it's scanning I'm gonna go ahead and show you where you can get malware bytes in case you don't already have it so you're gonna open up an internet browser and you can type in the address bar CNET dot com and press enter and it should take you to a site called CNET um, this is a good uh, trusted site where you can get all kinds of programs that are free they have different reviews and other stuff this is a good site to go to and I'm gonna go hover over the download page and then I'm gonna drop down to Windows software and then click that. When you drag down, uh, depending on the, the downloads, this list changes uh, quite often. Malwarebytes is usually somewhere near the top. Um, personally, I prefer Malwarebytes over Avast, which is usually Avast and AVG are at the top. I find that Malwarebytes slows down my system less um, than these other versions that are usually above it on CNET. Um, and that's just my personal opinion. So you're going to click that link. Most of these uh, sites where you can get free downloads, um, there's going to be, as you can see here, where I have one, two, three different downloads. Um, you're going to be careful which one you select. This download here is for Arrow 2013. Um, this program I'm not even familiar with. Uh, it's for registry errors. And I already have a couple programs for that. I don't want that. This download here, again, is for Arrow. So two of the three download buttons are not for what I am trying to get. Right here underneath Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is the download link for the program that I actually want. When you do the download, most of the time it'll automatically download. So here we can see that it is MBAM, which is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Setup. It means it's the setup, and this is the version that it is. And then you would click to save the file to download it. It can go over here, depending on what browser you use, download, show in different places. Um, this is where I click on mine. And we can see that it's being scanned for viruses. So if I double click this, it's going to automatically install, which I already have. And it is installed. So I am not going to go through that process. Um, another thing to watch out for when you're installing programs is uh, a lot of times 
people are in a habit of just clicking next, 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 or okay, whatever it is. Um, you need to look at those. Um, Malwarebytes tends to, at the end, one of the last screens have where it installs a toolbar, which I don't like any toolbars on my browser, so I have to uncheck that. And there's also a paid version of Malwarebytes, and it's going to uh, initiate, instead of the free version, a trial version of the paid one, which then it's going to run out and then ask for money. Um, so make sure you're not starting a trial of a paid version. You're not taking any toolbars. Um, also, there'll be other programs that you may or may not want. Um, so you need to look while you're installing. Instead of just clicking next, next, next. And I am going to go ahead and pause this until the scan is done and finish this up. All right, so excuse me the virus scan has finished um, this pop-up came up Malwarebytes has successfully clicked show results to display all detected objects so on this particular one you can see that it found one object show results um, this is a registry key pub um, pubs generally are going to be the most frequent thing you'll find if you have a, a bunch of items, well, the cursor's in the middle here. Um, what I would do is do a right click and select all items. And then remove selected. And this is a, uh, a log um, that I look through, but a lot of times it may not mean much. Um, if you're not real familiar with computers and programming. So you can just close out of that window. Telling me that it has removed successfully. Um, another thing I like Malwarebytes. Is while you're doing a scan. I'm going to start another scan. It's showing right here. Objects scanned and objects detected. One thing nice about Malwarebytes. If this gets um, objects detected you know get above 10 um, which is a rare occasion on my computer but could be very common if you're scanning for the first time in yours um, what I like to do then is do a board scan and one thing nice about Malwarebytes yes I'm sure I want to abort if it found anything at this point I could still remove it um, so if it starts getting you know kind of a large number I will abort the scan remove what it's found and then start the scanner again it tends to finish a scan faster this is one of the few programs I've used where if you abort the scan it still lets you delete anything that it has already found um, so that's one uh, feature on malwarebytes that I like um, and once again when I'm working on other people's computers if it's found a lot of items I will abort delete it and start the scan over uh, also, if I found a lot after doing a quick scan, I will go ahead and go back, um, check for updates, go back to the scanner, and do a full scan. A full scan can take a long time, depending how many files are on your computer, um, but well worth it if you have not been doing um, anti-malware or antivirus scanning frequently. Other than that, that is about it. Um, I am to... Uh, the, pretty much on Malwarebytes for me, I will automatically delete anything that is found. I hardly ever dig through the list, um, but it is good to look and make sure you don't have worms, Trojan horses, um, some of the, the, the actual viruses um, can take several scans to get rid of. Um, so if you find anything like that, you're going to want to keep scanning until you find nothing. Um, with that, that is a quick tutorial on how to um, manage Malwarebytes uh, to protect your computer.